In this video, I'm going to teach you how to do some proper research on print on demand sites. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do research on Redbubble, but you can use these techniques on Merch by Amazon, T Public, wherever you want to do it, Etsy. I'm going to show you how to look at the data and see what's selling and then using that data to come up with ideas on what to design and sell on t-shirts. You don't want to miss this. Let's go. Thanks for joining me on this video. My name is Juno with Detour Shirts. I've been designing and selling t-shirts online since 2005. So I've done this process a bunch of times trying to figure out what sells well on print on demand shops like Redbubble and TeePublic and Merch by Amazon. So I use this technique myself. Uh, I don't do it in this detail. I kind of do it in my head, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Um, detailed version of what you can do, where to find stuff. Uh, how to break down the data and then how to come up with ideas around that data. So I'm going to show you all the whole thing that I do in my head. But I'm going to do it on paper, uh, on the internet and uh, in Affinity Designer is what I'm going to use. You can use whatever you want. Um, you're going to see this is pretty easy. So I'm going to go into Redbubble first, find the data, find what's selling first. Then I'm going to break down the data and then I'm going to show you um, brainstorming and how to come up with ideas. This is a great way to do this. You can do this with any print on demand shop. You can do this with any topic. Uh, today we're going to do the topic of music, but you can break it down even further. You could do uh, kawaii or animals or Father's Day or whatever holiday that's coming up. You can use the same technique. So uh, I think this is going to be very valuable for anyone first starting out or anyone who hasn't done research before. This is how you do it, at least the way I do it. So let's get into Redbubble now and find that topic. So here I am on Redbubble. We're going to do step one of the research process. Step one is to find out what's selling. So you can go to any print on demand site. I'm on Redbubble. You could go to Merch by Amazon. You could go to TeePublic, wherever you're selling. And you could do this for any product or any niche uh, or topic. So first, I'm going to go in this video, we're going to go to clothing and just t-shirts. So we're going to narrow it down to the product t-shirts and I'm going to narrow it down even more. If you go on t-shirts here, you'll see shop by theme. I'm going to just do music. Now you could do the same process for movies or sports or games, whatever it is on here. Again, same process. So I'm going to see all music t-shirts and it's going to load here. And this is page one of music t-shirts Redbubble, right? Next thing I want to do here is instead of most relevant and you could do most relevant, you could do trending, but I want to do best selling. And I know a lot of people know this on Redbubble. Best selling may not actually be best selling right now. We're just going to have to take their word for it. At least these are selling. I, we know that these are selling on Redbubble and Redbubble saying that these are the ones that they're selling. There's no BSR on here or whatever to tell us how well they're selling. We're just going to have to take their word for it. These are 108 designs here on Redbubble. And this, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to scroll down so you can see it says 108 designs. So of these 108 designs, what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at all of them together. And I'm going to put this in Affinity Designer. And the reason I like Affinity Designer is I can just grab this and just drag it onto Affinity Designer and I'll have it again. So now that I have this, I'm going to look at the data and kind of study it. So my next step is, and I'm not going to show you how I do this, but I'm just going to bring in Affinity Designer, open it up, and then drag these in here. And you're going to see I have all of them together. Now you can do this in Canva. You can do this on a Pinterest board. You can just look at it right here if you want to. Uh, you don't actually have to do it in Affinity Designer, but I like doing it there so that I can kind of break it down and you'll see what I mean in Affinity Designer. So next step, is going to Affinity Designer and I'll show you what I do once I have the data. All right, so here we are on Affinity Designer. Now you can use any uh, application that you want. The reason I use Affinity Designer is one, I'm familiar with Affinity Designer and two, I have artboards. I can do multiple artboards. You can see here on the right here, I have multiple artboards I can use. I can break down this data. Now, the reason I want to put it on here and kind of get away from Redbubble is now I'm just focused on the design. So this is just a design research method. I'm just looking at what's selling on a t-shirt, right? What kind of topics, what kind of designs sell well, in this case on Redbubble, uh, in the music niche, right? So you can do this with anything. 
Um, so I just laid it out in a nice grid here just to have it all nice. The first thing I'm gonna do, well, first thing is bring all 108 designs on page one here or however many you wanna do. If you wanna do page one, page two, if you wanna just do 50, whatever it is, I like to do at least 100 and, and you'll see why. It's gonna get narrowed down really quickly um, from 100. But the first thing I'm gonna do now that I have all 108 here is to remove the things that I know I can't do and that is copyrighted material, especially on Redbubble. There's so much copyrighted material. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in here and see like right there, the strokes. That's a logo from the band, the strokes, right? So I know I can't do that. Um, I think I saw like, let's zoom in just a little bit more to kind of scroll around. So the Smiths, Sugar Man, Rays, like there's uh, Black Phillip. There's a whole bunch of copyrighted records, uh, band names, things like that, that I know that I can't do or I should stay away from from Redbubble. So first things first, let's take those away. And I've already done that here. So I'm left with now 67 designs after removing copyrighted designs. So 67 out of the 108 are the ones that I can actually get ideas from. Of course, I can't get ideas from things that are copyrighted, right? So I've removed all of that, almost half, almost half of those things and I don't know if I got them all actually. So there may be some some things in here. I just took out the ones that are super obvious. There may be some other ones left in here in the 67. If you see them, you know, let me know in the comments. But uh, I think this is a good place to start. These are the ones I can actually look at and kind of get ideas and brainstorm. So, so the first step was finding the data, right? The second step is gathering, just bringing all that. Now we're gonna kind of break down the data. So now that we have the 67 that we can actually do, this is the gathering part still, kind of breaking it down to what we can actually use. I'm gonna break it down even further to see what kind of trends we're seeing. Not not like trends that are trending, you know, the hot words, but um, seeing if there's some kind of relation to like, is there a certain kind of graphic? Is there a certain layout that's working well? Is there a certain color t-shirt? Is there a certain, like just looking at the data as a whole, right? So let's look at what I found. So first thing is I notice, and this is different in the music than it is normally, and that is most of the t-shirts, 54% of those 67 are on light t-shirts, which is really interesting. I have always said, do it on black t-shirts, and that's usually right for Merch by Amazon, uh, dark t-shirts sell well, but here in the music, uh, niche on Redbubble, 36 of them, 54% are on light t-shirts. Check that out. Really interesting, right? So you may be okay with doing things on light t-shirts and it's really close to half. So it's, you know, um, black, black would work, dark t-shirts would work too. But uh, if we're just looking at the data, more than half are on light t-shirts. Next thing I found, 46 of them are tall designs. So this is what I mean by tall designs. I'm gonna zoom in here. You can see it takes up the shirt and that makes sense because the shirt is a tall canvas. So most of the time you want it tall. Um, I think this is true for most t-shirt designs anyway, but I narrowed it down. 69% of more, way more than half of them are tall designs and that's to be expected. So you may wanna do things that are tall. Of course, wide designs do sell. You can see if I go back here, this is a wide design. It's more wide than tall and they do sell on here, but more often than not, uh, tall design sell. So now we know light t-shirts and tall designs are something that we may wanna target. Next, mostly graphics are used in the music, at least in the music topic. So of course, Redbubble is known for graphic arts, uh, artists. Of course, they're gonna wanna highlight those things and a great way to highlight it, graphics is to just do graphics on t-shirts, right? So more than half of them, 64% are just graphics. So if I zoom in here, you can see no words at all, right? Just graphics. Take a look at that. So when designing for music on Redbubble, you may wanna put it on a light t-shirt a tall design with just graphics, right? So those are real basic ones, just using the data. Now, um, what kinds of graphics you may be wondering? So I'm gonna break it down even further. What do we design? I know it's graphics, but what kind of graphics? So 
let's break it down even further. 47 or 70% of these have two or more things together. So I'm calling these mashups. So what do I mean by mashups? So let's go in here. So this is a mountain with a record, right? Outdoors and record player mashing it up. A monkey wearing earphones with butterflies, you can see, and splatter paint. So like four of those things mashing up. This is a guitar um, with uh, the outdoors, right? Trees, uh, a chameleon playing a guitar, that's a mashup. All mashups here, right? They're mashing two things that usually don't go together, but they're putting it together anyway, right? In a, in a cool way. So take a look at that. Cool mashups, right? So think about that. You may want to do a mashup of music. Of course, we're in the music uh, niche or topic. Of course, you're going to want to mash it up with music somehow, but then mash it up with something else. Music plus outdoors, music plus an animal, music plus a space or whatever it is, right? So do that as a mashup, more than 70% of it. So uh, that's good data right there. So what kind of mashup, what can I mash up? So 15, I noticed a lot of them were, um, we had the acoustic guitar, right? So let's check it out. A lot of them are playing and not just acoustic, some of them have electric, but most of them were acoustic guitars here. So you can see. 22% that's that's still a lot so you may want to use a guitar when you're when you're doing a design 13 had animal designs so you can see you have a monkey here a cat a unicorn a dinosaur another cat here a raccoon beetles fox let's scroll down here a bear dinosaur unicorn all very popular animals that are being used um, you could do a dog in here, an axolotl, a sloth, right? Some of those other things, just coming up with ideas on animals, different animals. Next and last, uh, you can keep doing this as much as you want, but the, another thing that I saw was a lot of records, right? A lot of uh, records. This one's doing it in the background. You can see right here. This one's doing it with space. Uh, someone writing it right here. A lot of records too. So we know records do well, guitars do well, animals do well. So keep that in your mind. Now that we have all that data, um, we know what kinds of shirts do well, the, the type of designs, we know we wanna do mashups, we wanna keep it a tall design, maybe put it on a light t-shirt. Now we're gonna come up with ideas. So now that we're done breaking down the data, we're gonna wanna brainstorm with that data in mind to come up with ideas. And this is the last part. So brainstorming so here are 10 of my ideas that i came up with of course there's lots more ideas but you can see how my brain works here um, we we saw other animals playing a guitar we didn't see a dinosaur playing a guitar so that could be one idea um, we saw a lot of records being mashed up with something but we didn't see it mashed up with a rainbow so a record and a rainbow mashed up together we saw cassette tapes there but we didn't see like an 80s pixel version of a cassette tape, maybe Tetris pixel. You, you see where I'm going here? An astronaut with headphones. We saw astronauts in there, but we didn't see an astronaut with headphones listening to music like we did with that monkey. We kind of could swap out that monkey and put a astronaut in there. So lots of different ideas just to go down the list. A, a dog listening to music, again, animal, axolotl playing a guitar, right? Guitar was one of the things on here. A unicorn DJ, we saw a cat DJ. Why not put a unicorn DJ? a sloth sleeping on music. We saw there a cat um, playing with the musical notes. We could do a sloth doing kind of a similar thing. We saw a lot of band stuff playing guitar and stuff. We could do animals doing that. Maybe a band of cats, a band of dogs, a band of whatever, right? And lastly, um, maybe we saw a lot of music symbols. We could use those musical symbols to make a shape like a heart or something like that. So come up with ideas. If you want to do any of these, go ahead, um, draw some of this out, make sure that it is a tall rectangle, right? Um, put it on a light t-shirt, see what you come up with. Um, be fun. Um, I didn't draw any of these. You're not copying me. These are just ideas, right? Ideas are just ideas. If you want to use this idea, go ahead, see what you can come up with. I think, uh, it's, it's fine. And, and you can come up with more ideas of what you saw and you can use these techniques for any print on demand site. So those are the four steps. Again, I'm going to go over them. So first, find out what is selling. Second, gather all that data. Third, break down the data. And then four, 
brainstorm, come up with all the ideas. Now, this is just for design. This is design research, right? Finding out what sells, what designs sell on a certain print-on-demand shop. I'm using Redbubble here. You can use any print-on-demand shop, but this is just design. You're gonna, after you come up with your cool design that we hope will sell because of the data, then you're gonna have to work on keywords and SEO and all those different things. But just, I think starting with the design idea and finding out what sells first and then designing that is a good first step on um, getting your design out there and getting it well. Now, now it still has to be a well design. You just can't put any dinosaur playing it, the guitar on there. It has to be something that people still wanna wear. It has to be nice enough that people wanna wear, but at least you know kind of what to design here. So hopefully this was really helpful for you. You can see how my brain works and how this research could work on anything. Uh, you can do with music again and, or whatever you want. So have fun with this, come up with lots of ideas at using the data to support you to know what could sell on a certain print on demand site. So that is it for this video. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you, at least to do some research. Now you know how to find out what is selling on a print on demand site. If this video is really helpful for you, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to this channel already, make sure to hit that subscribe button there, it really helps. And for the question of the day for this video is, how do you do your research? I showed you how I do my research. Let me know how you do your research. Is it the same way? Is it a different way? Let me know in the comments there. Uh, thanks again for watching and if you want to see more videos on how to do research on how to design stuff make sure to click on these videos right here and as always guys keep creating and keep learning i'll see you on the next one bye